Hello everyone, a bitch just reset a few days after the new character Shiori released and it's been a while since I uploaded a full Abyss 12 run, so I thought now might be a good time to do so. And the first team a lot of people have in mind with her is probably Ito and Goro, but I assume there are already a lot of videos showcasing this, so I try to come up with something a little bit unique. And first of all, I try to pick Shiori in the second team because I like to play her against single target a little bit more because it's it's kind of awkward. Her dots have very little range is what it feels like and against a single enemy it's just easier to position them correctly and uh, so that they won't be out of range a lot of the time. And then I do some sort of hyper bloom, uh, not hyper bloom, sorry, aggravate, spread, quicken team. And it's a little bit weird including Geo characters here, but you have the Akiak Petra sets and after Shiori, you want to be very mindful which character you pick there since you automatically switch to, to it. And in my case, I want Baiju there because I first want to trigger the Akiak Petra set and then apply Quicken. In the first half, I just pick some Raiden national team. Um, I think it's a very popular one and most people will have access to it, is what, I, what it feels like to me. Um, the first half here isn't anything too special, um, it's just some random stuff here in the first wave, and then the second one are just some main two mobs, I believe they just have a little bit more HP as well for my guesses. So let me get through this first. These guys do a lot of damage, so I need to be a little bit careful, especially if I try to go. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, my Bennett, uh, burst is all the way back there. Transcend all constraints. Uh, I should probably not be too greedy and switch up right in case I have one percent HP. Oh. <laughs> Everybody stand back! Let's move the fire! Torn to oblivion! Okay. It's so hard for me to see them, I don't know. Someone else has this problem. And on top of that, with all the visual attacks going on, on top of that they fly around and are somewhat above your screen sometimes. Um, I Why don't want to use my this? first skills here because I will not get them back for the next chamber, so I just wait until it dies to elemental skills. Okay. Then this team, obviously, um, official into Ningguang to get the Akiak Petra, but also Ningguang has to go first to place on the Jade screen to um, enable Chiori's elemental skill to get the two dots. The Jade screen is quite important here. And that often happens. <laughs> That's a little bit unlucky. Also, like an you can run through the jet screen with Shiori to get the extra geo damage bar. Yeah. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Don't waste my time. Huh. Odd, this reveal was thyself. pretty decent, I, I would say. I just Delicate use a burst code to finish it for star coins. And next chamber. This is a little bit of a weird one. It's a lot of specters and uh, of course this team has a lot of overload so it's probably gonna be a little bit annoying but what can I do? Now especially next uh, walk off lower so how the next night I mean So they especially like to get knocked around no by overload. <laughs> Absurd. Oh. Let's at least try to knock them in the same direction. Inazuma shines eternal. Yeah, that was pretty good, honestly. I think so. 
Um, I should try to get the melee guys to the archer Just watch and the, the other guy, the slave one, um, naturally comes to me. Well, that was awkward. I'm debating if I should play it slow here and not use any more burst cards. I should at least be dry. I think I play it slow. I think I have enough time. So, yeah. Probably worth it to keep it for the next chamber. Now, Perpetual Mechanical Ray is a slow boss because he has a lot of community phases. Let's, Let's just see how this goes. Remember, health. Submit. Oh, don't waste my time. Yeah. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Get. Give up. Lend me a hand. Oh, damn. <laughs> Mind the side effects. Taking a turn for. Don't waste my time. I think it's yeah. looking okay. He should pace now. Should be enough time. Yeah. Huh. I have all my skills up, I believe. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> it's nothing. A bitter pill to swallow. Remember, health comes. Submit. Yeah, this thing is dead. Perfect. Give up. I shouldn't. I should have placed the jade screen more carefully. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Because now I won't have the second. What's it called? My royal decree. Don't waste my time. But it didn't matter that much in the end. Uh, this is <laughs> kind of weird, because obviously Chiori scales of defense and attack. I wouldn't even be super sure if this is damage increased for her or not, but. Well, whatever, let's get the elementus go damage, it's obviously even better for her. Yeah, I'm pretty low on HP, which is a little bit concerning, considering that these guys do a lot of damage. I might even run out of the spin. Yeah, I played safe. Okay. And the next boss, I'm not super experienced. I, it's it's a little weird because Ningguang needs to do normal attacks to generate her jade stuff, and you are incentivized to do a lot of plunging attacks here. I just see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I have a lot of time, so I seems like an think emergency. I just try to be careful not to die. Go, jump over it. Jump over it, and I think there's one more. Yeah. Don't waste. Oh damn it. Give up. There we go. Mind the side effects. Taking a turn for the better. Submit. It's nothing. Oh, should yeah. jump. And jump again. I think that was already the last one. Yep. Let me Seems like an emergency. Wings of darkness. Your life is mine. Don't waste my time. And I think uh, I wanted to a bitter press Chiori's first go down there to kill it, but I don't think it kills now. No. Okay, damn it. Well, no style points this time. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Yeah. Well, I think that went pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> I quickly show all the builds and maybe talk a little bit about them. I already have this team selected, so it shouldn't take too long. I do have C1, but I didn't activate it, so just you know. Um, obviously, some sort of balance. I 
put a lot of um, uh, I put a lot of focus on defense because I play the Harbinger of Dawn, and obviously with this effect, I believe just focusing heavily on defense is better than some sort of equal spread between attack and defense. Then for artifacts, obviously four piece golden troop, and these are the stats. And C1, I don't have it activated, and just 9-9 nine, nine talents. For the rest of the ones, I just quickly show them, I won't comment too much on it. The one thing I will say, this Fischl, I feel like you are relying quite a lot on your burst skill to resummon Oz. And this build for this particular team is very light on energy paradise. recharge. I, Ningguang, pretty standard, just CPS build. Like I said, Akiak Petra might be a set that a lot of people didn't farm, but kind of essential here. Or not essential, but it does help out a lot. And then my Baiju is on a damage build. I think a lot of people just build him as a kind of utility character with a lot of HP and energy recharge. And But, but, but he can do a surprising amount of damage. So if you have even a little bit of crit crit damage and even attack, it can kind of benefit you a lot. Now, really quickly, just the other team, but it's pretty standard stuff, I just do it quickly. But these are some of my best characters, and it is a free-to-play account, but I did get some of the constellations and uh, unique weapons to these characters, so you saw how, how fast the... Uh, how fast I got through the stages with this team, so... Yeah, it's, it's partially to you. To the build quality, due to the build quality, yeah. Yeah, Purina is not on a four piece golden troop set quite yet because it's quite hard to achieve if you use her own weapon because you are lacking a lot of energy recharge otherwise. So I'm still working on that, but other, but of course, it does very high crit damage makes up for it. Then Bennett, really as standard as, in, as it can get. I just want a lot of energy recharge. I even took a weapon that has kind of low base attack which is kind of questionable for Bennett but I just want him to get his burst skill. With Raiden not much of, of a concern honestly but uh, yeah still I use him in other teams as well that's why and I didn't change the weapon out for, for this particular team right now. Shangling also pretty standard build on the catch. I think you could also use um, Dragon's Bane, I believe this is called. It's probably also even better in in this particular team. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I will probably upload a guide on Chiori anytime soon. And stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye-bye.